Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customise all of your outlines and borders of a table. So the first thing I'm going to do is to quickly insert a table. So go up to Insert, down to the table icon, click on the drop down, and I'm going to quickly select 4 by 4 And there we have our table. Let's just zoom in. OK, so if we want to change any of these outlines, then we need to be on Table Design. And the only way that appears is if you've actually selected your table or your, you've actually got your cursor within your table. So if I click out of it, you can see that that tab disappears. If I click inside the table, you can see that both Table Design and Layout will appear. Now at the end of the Table Design ribbon, you can see this selection here. And this refers to all the shading of your cells, all the border styles, the border colours, and where you want your borders. They've also got this icon at the end called Border Painter. And we'll come back to that one at the end. Now the way in which you customise your border largely depends on which cells you highlight. So for example, if we wanted to put a thick black border around the outside of our entire table, we'd select the entire table. You can do that by either clicking on this square icon up in the corner, or you can just simply click and drag. Then you need to go up to your border styles. Click on the drop down and you'll see there are a number of different options you can choose from. You can also use this border style here, click on the drop down, and again you're given a number of different options to select from. Now it's the weight of your line here which will dictate how thick your border is. So if we click on the drop down here, you can see how the borders will thicken according to which one you select. So let's just select two and a quarter points. Then you can go along and you can change the color. So there's a variety of colors here, but if you don't see the color of your choice, click on more colors, your color wheel will appear. And obviously you can move this little icon around the colour wheel and as I move it you can see the colour will change in this icon box. If you don't see the colour of your choice you can use these options at the top here or you can use the eyedropper tool to match any colour that you've imported from a selected image or colour swatch. So we're just going to choose black for now and then this is the most important icon here. Click on the drop down and here you can see which border you would like this to apply to. So you've made all your selections and now you can choose whether you just have a border to the right, a thick border to the left, the top and the bottom. You can apply it to all of your borders if you wanted thick lines or you can just select outside borders. So if we select outside borders, you can see how it's now changed that outside border to a thick black line. If you just wanted this top row to have a thick black line as a heading row, highlight the row and then go back up to borders. You've selected your thick black line, go back up to borders and again go to outside borders because you've only selected that top row. So click on that and you can see the top row has been selected. If you want these little bars in the middle to be selected, then what you needed to do is to go to borders and select all borders and the ones in between will be selected. Now if we just go back, if you just want this one in the middle to be selected here, go back up to borders and then you need to go down to inside vertical border but you need to have selected those two cells to identify the central border. Click inside vertical border and just this one will be selected. And you can do that for the entire table. If you just wanted this border to be selected here, you can do it one of two ways. You can either select this row, go to borders and select outside borders because it will go round the outside of my selection or you can once again select the two columns and select this central line here. Go to borders, 
and inside vertical border. And again, that one will be selected. Now, if you want to select certain parts of your table quickly, then click inside your table, make sure you're on table design again, and go along to border painter. And as you can see, your cursor has changed into a small paintbrush. If I want to select this line here to change to my selection, then all I need to do is hover my paintbrush at the top of the line to the left or the right, click and drag all the way down and you can see how this grey line will appear. Once you've made your selection, just release the mouse and your selected line will appear. If I want to do it all the way across, then you just click and drag all the way across and release. Now of course you can go up here and you can change the colour, so let's change it to red. Let's use the border painter. If your paintbrush doesn't appear, then just click off your table, click back on your table, go back up to border painter and your paintbrush should appear. And then again we'll go along and release and there's the red line. Now if you want to change these lines you're going to have to go back up and change your selection. So we we'll change it back to quarter point and black, border painter, border painter, click and drag. And then we'll change it back to your previous selection. If you've just carried out an action of course you can just select command or control Z and it will go back one step. If you feel like you want to start again and everything's gone wrong, then just select your entire table again. Make sure you've selected your choices. Once again, go to borders and select all borders. And then we'll just simply go back to the default table. Of course, if you don't want to go to all of that trouble, if you click on your table and you go to table design, you can see there are a number of different options here. Click on this little arrow here and there are all these different table designs ready to go. Lots of different colours and of course you can modify your table and also you can change the colours. So let's say for example I chose this one here and I decided that I wanted slightly different colour borders. It was a, a nice orange but I decided that I wanted to change that slightly. I could go to a darker orange, go to all borders and as you can see, it's a slightly darker orange. I can change the shading. If I select that top row there, go to shading and select that dark orange. Don't be afraid to be a little bit creative. You can, of course, use these styles here. We can have some double lines here. Change to another color. We can use the border painter and then we can just select all the borders we want. And then go along the top. We can select different ones in the middle.
So as you can see, there are lots of different options for you. They're all fully customizable. Your color choices are pretty endless. But if you do get stuck, don't forget to drop me a comment and I'll do everything I can to help. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.